And the sun's going down again. I wonder if I can feed him spider legs. I can. Or failing that. Okay, now I can feed him and it'll mate him, apparently. I so can feed wolf spiders and make them sex. Uh, huh. Where is he going? Come on, come on. You two have sex. You two have sex. Does that mean you have a puppy now? Uh, I have two wolves who are horny and wandering around ignoring each other. Huh. I'm pretty sure we've been separated at birth. Could be. We're frighteningly similar in some ways, so... Yeah. Come on, you two sex. <laughs> As opposed to staring at me with hearts coming out of your head. That's actually a little horrifying. Yeah. Alright, I have no idea where you went. South? Yeah. Uh... Here's another puppy. I'll make you horny, too. Sit there and do nothing. Yep, you're just going to sit there, do nothing, and be horny. Thank you. Now terrified of wolves. <laughs> Actually, I kind of was to begin with, but still. Did All you right. find me yet? Man, you're not even on my radar. South. Oh, yeah, I'm heading south. Wait, I see you. Okay. All right. I don't see you, but... Oh, yeah, because Entity's radar. All right, I should be right up on you any moment now. Uh, Maybe. Yes, there you are. I see you have a pumpkin on your face. Look, I'm very sensitive about that. Well, yes, I imagine it's a family condition. It's, it seems like an inherited condition. It does, doesn't it? Yes, pumpkin face. Of course, Pumpkin Head was also a very bad horror movie. <laughs> the only thing I remember about it being positive is it had the guy who played Garrick in Deep Space Nine in it. Ah. Uh. He's the horrible little, you know, weaselly small town sheriff. Who died, probably? I think so. I mean, that's usually how that character ends up. Yeah. Okay, I can't see a damn thing with that on. No. I'd like to do a texture pack where the pumpkin has no negative side effect. Do a texture pack where the pumpkin is like an Iron Man overlay. Yeah, that would actually be really cool. I've seen <laughs> that before in a couple mod or a couple uh, texture packs for specific um, like adventure maps. Yeah, like I think there's a Halo one. Mm-hmm. Or anything futuristic. I can't remember what one it was I played, but it was kind of neat. Alright, so. I'm not sure there is an other end of this forest. Um, doesn't look it, does it? No. Watch well, out, there's a hole down here. Yeah, there is. Whee! Alright, I avoided it. Uh, I think this hole is also a ravine a little bit further on. Alright, yep, that's definitely a ravine. Ow. Pumpkins. Um, hmm. Make up some more wood. Yeah, we've gone like a thousand meters from the start point and found basically nothing. Oh, it would really suck to die now. Yeah, well, sorta. Yeah. Well, thankfully, warp commands. If I accept. Well, there's also the server's teleport commands. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I'd be willing to do that. All right. Well, uh, there's still south. Yep. There's a lot of south. Yeah. The south will uh, continue on and on, or whatever <laughs> that expression is. You usually hear out of people with no tail. Hey, look, change in biome. Uh, sheep. Ah, oh yes, we're in a sheep biome. Everything is made of sheep. Including the meat. Yes. Sheep. Give me your delicious mutton. 
Oh, I got some raw lamb out of one of them. Yeah. Well, that's probably a little bit tastier. Probably. I've yeah. had lamb before. I don't recall being impressed. I did not. The stuff we got, I did not like the texture of the fat. Like, it tasted kind of sandy. Yeah, and I don't think some people really understand how important that is. No, nah, texture is a big deal. Oh, well, God, te zombie. Texture of the fat, specifically. Yeah. Because fat is flavor, and moreover, the fat is in everything in that, so... Because the stuff we got was just... The fat was ever-pervasive. No matter what, no matter how lean a piece looked. It was just you bite it and went, Oh, fat. <laughs> Lovely. Oh, are you climbing up the mountain? Yes, you are. Trying. I'm trying to do it in such a way that my dogs don't get killed following me. Yeah. Although that's probably easier said than done. Yeah. Dogs are not natural mountain climbers. Depends on the breed. Yeah. I mean... The, uh... Wow. This is a long the fuck way up, ain't it? Oh, yeah, that is. Yes, right. it is. Yes, yeah. it is. I'm almost Can't exactly to the top. Good lord. I, I crested the top of the hill, but there's still more up. There are you? <laughs> well, this sure is a whole lot of flat, boring nothing up here. Just what we need. At least there's some pigs. Well, I'll eat some berries. All right. I'll, uh... I'll wait for... Ow, Thornbush. Ow, Thornbush. I'm pretty sure that was a, you know, blues musician. I used to know someone with the last name of Ow. Ow? Yes. O-W. Really? That's impressive. Kind of awesome. Yeah, I was going to say that's impressive, awesome, and so bad for them. I always told him he should become a lawyer. Oh? The law firm of Ow and Associates. Yeah. So I got lamb and mutton. I'm not sure what the difference is. The same thing as in real life. Younger animals? Yeah. Okay. But they came from the same adult sheep, so... Well, probably the one that you got the lamb off of was uh, closer to being, you know, yeah. juvenile sheep. I hope A lamb. Can... I don't think there's any new, like, pig meats. Probably not. I'll kill him okay. anyway. So you know, we're in a cliffs biome. That means I don't think we'll be seeing anything particularly interesting. Possibly not, but um, at least it's open space. Yeah, it's not on a forest. And the sun's coming up, so that's good. Just, this chair is just a mess. I know. I never have a chair that isn't a mess. All right. Hmm. Mm. Somehow it is whenever Rob goes out to get any type of chair, he'll always come back with a comfortable one. Uh, well, I'll send him out to uh, find a chair for you then. Well, he has, but anytime he goes out to find a chair for me, it's usually, uh, hey, this one was the best we could find. It feels really comfortable. And then after about a week, it's nearly dead. Uh huh. Just like, I have a curse with chairs, I guess. You are James, destroyer of chairs. Well, I am. I, I fidget like hell. <laughs> I'm not even going to pretend I don't. Well, right. Jay, I hate to break it to you, but you're also not a small man. Oh, God, no. I know that. But if I sat perfectly still in the chair, it would still last longer. Yeah, but who can sit perfectly still like that? Communists. I'm pretty sure. Uh Hey, hey. Okay, pigs don't like berries. Good to know. And my dogs are still with me. That's good. Yeah, they've lasted me longer than most dogs on the trip do. These ones just keep teleporting to you. It looks like they're lagging because they'll just be standing still and then zoop. <laughs> All right. Ow, ow. That was a bad fall. Well, I only took about two hearts worth of damage, thankfully. See, I took that drop a lot better than you did. Yeah. Well, if you need any cobblestone, 
Oh, well, there's plenty. I've got plenty for, or I think for whenever I want to go make myself a set of cobble armor. Thorn bushes. Ow. Ah, so that's what that is. I thought your wolves were attacking me, and I was about to start running. <laughs> uh, well, probably if I hit you with my sword, they would. Instantly, yes. Even if you told them to sit. Yeah. That's the problem with wolves. Yeah, you really need to call off command on the wolves. I think that's what the leashes are basically going to be for. I bet you if you took a wolf and had it on a leash and hit something with it, they'd still be able to go and attack it. Well, they would as long as they were in leash range. But I want to... I almost uh, with my sword just then. That would have ended disastrously. Because either they would have killed me or I would have had to kill them. And I and probably... Either way, nobody would be very happy. No, I probably would have just let them kill me and then uh, been like, Accept the goddamn warp, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> You're wolves. <laughs> no, but... Ah, I'm trying to... Okay, I'm going to stop and make a new sword. This one's about had it. It's, mine's a fine for now, I think. I'm trying to decide if I need to make anything else. I've got a pick, an axe. Hmm. What is good to make? I mean, what do we do? We need anything? Iron. Yeah, we need iron. Good point. I have to keep our eyes open for iron deposits. I think we're in the wrong area to find them on the surface. Yeah, it. Uh, it looks like it. They only appear from, like, uh, I want to say 84 down. Mm, currently, okay. Cur or, yeah, and we're currently, I think the lowest point here is 90. Yeah, I'm at 117 right now. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. The number 84 suddenly seems like I probably just pulled that directly out of my ass. Maybe you got from the lumber yard. Yes. To the lumber yard. You know, the 84 uh, lumber. 84 lumber. Yeah. We don't have any of those around here anymore. I'm pretty sure they all went out of business. I think they did. The one that was here turned into a farmer's market. I keep using the goddamn name of companies that have not been around in longer than some people I know have been alive. <laughs> like, uh, I keep, uh, well, we can go to Heckinger's. <laughs> like, there hasn't been a Heckinger's around here in 21 years. The fuck is wrong with you? Or Woolworths. Uh, I got it. They all have mentioned, you know, oh, you know, a store like Woolworths. Like, what? <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> a department store. Most of the time when you say a department store, people don't know what you're talking about e anymore either. We really don't have too many of those left. Yeah. I mean, as everyone will think of things like, I don't know, Comp USA. Which I think is also out of business. Um, they're either out of business or they've switched strictly to mail order. Yeah, because there'll be good competition with Newegg. Ooh, no. <laughs> I order things from Newegg and get them the next day because of their shipping practices. Ooh, free beef. Yeah. Ow, ow, ow. What? Oh, thorn bushes. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, I figured the puppies are very useful to us, so... Yeah, oh, I'm yeah. going to heal this one with some beef. And I I think I can heal your puppies with beef, too. Probably. He likes, he likes me now. Where's the other one? Ah. Uh, it was warping into that tree a minute ago. But yeah, I found out these thorn bushes will make good uh, creeper traps. Well, now they have a puppy. Which will probably follow you. It looks like it, yeah. Yeah. Oh no, I was able to make it sit. Wow, the fuck. So I guess. Now. <laughs> um. But yeah, I found out the thorn bushes will make good creeper traps. Ooh, then we need to collect those. I'll try to grab them. Because the creepers will stand in them and take damage, and it doesn't look like they explode from it. Yeah, because they don't sense an entity near them causing the damage. Yeah. So they're creep. They're traps that prove creepers are retarded. Yeah, pretty much. Bitchin'. There's kind of a lot of these. I wonder if they grow randomly if you use bone meal in the right biome. Oh, it doesn't even matter the biome. If you plant one down on grass and use bone meal on it, it'll sprout more up around it. Ooh, nice. More coal. I'll grab that while I'm here. 
All right. Good enough. I've actually got a lot of coal, so. Okay. Oh, there's a city. Oh, where? Over okay. this way-ish. It looked at first, the way my map was rendering it out, like someone had just drawn it in Crayola on my screen. <laughs> it was like, what the hell? Why Why did someone come after my screen with crayons? I can see a cow spawner in that tower. Oh, that could be nice. We might settle here for a while. Yeah, yeah I think that's a good idea. To utilize its resources. Ow, ow, thorn bushes. Hey, there we go. I will have to uh, remember those in my single player. I'm wondering how much longer I can keep the single player up, what with the map glitching so magnificently as it's decided to do. Why, what's it's, it doing? It's doing the thing with the square edges even worse than... Uh, okay, so this isn't a city, apparently. It's just... A wall? Walls. Let's get in there anyway and take a look. Well, I'm on. I'm on the top of the wall. Yeah, I'm trying to get up there, too. Yeah, this is just... I don't know, this would be an interesting place to settle. I suppose. I was kind of hoping for a little bit of infrastructure to take advantage of. That's but... a good point. I mean, all we have is cows. It's On the other of... hand, I mean, you know, cows. Yeah, an infinite amount of cow. And, I mean, there's no roads coming up to this, so the wall is probably solid. Yeah, it does look like it's completely solid. So that probably means it's well defensible. I'll check out... These other uh, towers and see if there's anything interesting in them. Nothing there. I'm trying to no. see if there's a easy way inside. Uh, through the base of the towers and up a ladder seems to be it. Well, I mean, that's what got me onto the wall the first time, but... Yeah. I'm not do, sure about a way down inside. Do, 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 um, no. No, there are no steps generated. It's odd that the rest of the village didn't generate, actually. I wonder if it's because of the altitude. Maybe? One of my favorite stupid questions of all time. At what altitude does a moose become an elk? Okay, bear in mind I have wolves that I can attack you with. Well, no. Someone actually asked that. And there's a villager spawner here. I think I'm going to kill. Unless we want it particularly. Uh -huh. Alright, I'll kill it then. No, but that was like... It, as a list of stupid questions, some people have, um, or had asked, like, a park ranger in his career. <laughs> and one of the questions was, at what altitude does a moose become an elk? Like, it would evolve like a goddamn Pokemon or something. And, uh, he just, you know, he, he said that he got stupid questions like that all the time. Like... Uh, the best one was a set of campers who had their food stolen because, surprise, surprise, they're retarded and they left their food sitting out overnight. Ugh. And, you know, in a wildlife fucking preserve. And, uh... Alright, so I'm inside. Yeah, but they were angry because it was stolen and they were asking who they contacted about getting a refund. Like, uh, the raccoons. That's who. Contact the raccoon's lawyer. He'll help you with that. <laughs> uh, but... Alright, lots of thorn bushes in here. I'll pick them up. There's a villager. Yeah. I think there's another villager spawner around. I'll leave it because it doesn't affect me in any way, shape, or form. But yeah, this is, this is really weird. Yeah, it is. I've not seen this happen before. No. Alright. I'm the king of the goddamn mountain over here. Alright, there's nothing really interesting up here. And I've got more berries. Yay. And I've got raw mutton. Yay. <laughs> hmm. Well, we could set up an oven and cook it. That's true. Well, let me put down this workbench up here. And be king of the goddamn mountain. Good right, dogs. So. They are very useful. They're helping me kill these cows. Well, it's extremely useful. Yes. Bring us food, puppy. Okay, so I think what we need to do is uh, 
light up the uh, interior space in here. I've got a lot of torches here. Let me give you some. Or half. There. All right. I've got a lot of coal in the furnace, too. I'm just leaving it in there in case we... Because I've got a lot of meat to cook. M Minty Lamburger. Uh-huh. <laughs> sure. Why not? I'm not going to say mutton about it. Jay. If you hit me, your dogs will murder me. Or I'll I your... know. <laughs> if I just, you know. Fair warning. Wow, raw mutton takes ages to cook, apparently. Mm. Or, or are we just cook at all? Actually, it doesn't cook at all. It's doesn't odd. It? Yeah, it doesn't. That's weird. Does it well. consume fuel while it's not cooking? Ah, uh, the fuel was cut. Yeah, because I was doing something else. Oh. Or because, you know, it was still partially fueled. But, um, I'm going to flatten out this mountain. Partly, because it needs to be flat so we can build a house. And if nothing else, this will be a good place to sit while we decide what to do next. Mm -hmm. What our objectives for this playthrough will be. Oh, we don't have any of those. No, I do want to try and eat some of everything. <laughs> well, uh, have fun trying to get some creeper to eat. Um, it'll happen eventually. I I know they what is it, creeper goo? Yeah. Yes, I want to eat some creeper goo. I think it makes you spit fireballs. That's pretty awesome. Okay, well I've lit up what I could with the amount of torches you gave me. I have more if you want them. Let's see. I got some wood. All right. All right. Take this down. Here, have some more torches. I'm making some, too. All right. Well, I'll drop some on you anyway, because I'm preparing us food. Okay. Now I have a stack and a half. Thankfully, we have a decently large amount of meat. Well, after that traveling we did, yes. and almost everything we kill now dropping meat. Yeah, it is uh, very handy, to say the least. Yeah, it's a good startup mod. Yeah. But I'm, I'm going to uh, ring where I came in with torches so we can find it. Huh. Right now, it's the only access point out of here. Yeah. All right. Where's that chest? That here for now. Right. And I'll take... I'm sure the mutton combines with something to make uh, uh, gerbils. Maybe. All right, steak and cook that chicken. You got any of these right here? Is anything spawning in here? Um, not yet. Well, that's a good sign. Uh, maybe a small enough area that enemies can't spawn in it, with, because if I'm at the center, you know, it could reach to the edges. But they won't still spawn in the towers. Or on the wall. Or, you know, in the cat. But hopefully if they spawn in the towers or on the wall, they'll just go after the villagers and leave us alone. That would be, you know, the dream. Well, the zombies will go after the villagers. The skeletons seem indifferent. Yeah. That's kind of unfair that the uh, skeletons only want us. Yeah. I think, well, I think that's because of the chaos that a skeleton can cause with a bow. Because, I mean, one skeleton with a bow can actually, if he's chasing after something other than you, like an unintelligent whoop, mob, sorry, can uh, aggro creepers, so it's a little dangerous. I think it sounds like fun. Yeah, it does, actually. It sounds like a whole mess of fun. <laughs> All right, so we've Music got... discs everywhere. Yeah. Or just pock marks. Well, that too. All right, so we've got 11 pork chops, eggs, three mi minty lamb burgers, a steak, and a cooked chicken. So we have plenty of food for now. And I think we're adequately lit up in here. Yeah, I think we are. And that only took, like, 74 torches. Sweet. Right, the chest is about the level I was viewing as acceptable uh, digging. Come on, puppy. God damn it, you're just about as suicidal as a real puppy. <laughs> 
Well, let's, let's face it, all baby animals are retarded. All right, come over here, dogs. You've done good work today. It's time to rest. Mm. Sit. Sit. No, no, hey, come back here. Sit. Good dogs. And I still think that what they need to do with the cats in Minecraft is if you have them follow you around enough, then they'll just get bored and fuck off. Sounds about right, but I think people would get mad. I don't know. I think uh, the chest sitting has just about disabled the usefulness of cats anyway. Well, maybe. Or at least, you know, the fun. Well, like the patch note said, removed any joy you might have felt from having a cat. <laughs> Success. Yeah. Oh, I was, I'm glad I'm using a shovel because when I'm digging. It auto stops when you run in front of me, so oh. I don't accidentally attack you. All right. Yeah, that's good in this case. Yeah, because I don't feel like having my face eaten off at me. No, because if you wanted that, we just would need to have some zombies around. Yeah. Oh, this hill is built on a coal vein of some form. <laughs> Once again, another jazz me bit musician. I'm pretty sure John Colvain. All right. Eventually, you're going to sec the wolves on me. We know. I know, we I'm just waiting for the right time. Yeah, I'm going to say we both know it's going to happen. But what I'm hoping is to have beds in place by then. Would be nice. I'm going to have to kill these villagers. Because when we do have a house, they're going to be pissing me the hell off. You know what should happen? Hmm? When you uh, fall off of... Uh, ledge or something and take damage hmm. the wolves should come and try to attack the wall that would be a lot closer to real dogs <laughs> something hurt him get it i once had a friend whose dog attacked his bicycle because he got his pants leg caught in the bike and he started going ah ah because he thought it was gonna fall over and the dog decided the bike was attacking him and, uh, it was also half Doberman, half Rottweiler. Hmm. So, there was no more bike left when he was done. <laughs> it was a, you know, sweet dog other... Well, I'm told it was a sweet dog otherwise. It was not properly raised. It loved everyone in the immediate family. Anyone else it would try and kill. Yeah. Well, in some people's opinion, that is properly raised. Not if you like having guests over. Like I said, though... <laughs> well, yeah, you don't give a shit about people. Why would you want them in your house? Right. So, um, I don't have them in my house. Yeah. Well, he he tried to have guests over quite frequently, and just this dog sitting in a corner going, rrr, rrr. and it wasn't. Yeah, it was sitting in the whole goddamn corner because it was a huge dog. And just, uh, I'm just gonna go home. <laughs> Uh, actually, I think I'll cook. Sun's some. coming back up finally. I'm gonna cook some wood. Uh, eh, eh. All right. Uh, yeah, that was also the same dog that ended up thinking his Super Nintendo was its mate or mother or something. <laughs> because it would curl up around his goddamn Super Nintendo and just growl at anyone who came near it. Uh, okay done <laughs> no, that was actually a dog they found by the side of the road one day and took in it was actually like three years old then and they figured because it was so huge it was probably originally someone's guard dog mm -hmm. and the problem is it definitely understood the word bath <laughs> so the first time my friend's aunt tried to bathe it she was like do you want to have a bath rock you want to have a bath and i just started growling at her and backing away and she was like oh god it's going to kill me <laughs> and it turned out it was actually just trying to play she was just freaking out <laughs> uh, well a dog that big well yeah that's a valid reason to 